de, de voice actor. Traumatia <rire> Welcome back everyone, simply here and today we are gonna watch Crimson and Ragna, <rire> épisode 10. In this one, we are gonna go back to the Silverware Princess and the core as well. And after that, we are gonna read the manga panels that are coming with this episode. So if you're here for the second time, please subscribe. We have a new goal, 500. And let's just get into it. They are coming, right? Oh. They are waiting for something to happen. I mean, they are waiting for the two seats to come, right? Yep. Exactly. That's good for you because you are making the... the teleportation thing, right? The first night, five cities and the capital. Yep. We flee the country and we save as much as we can, right? <laughs> Crimson. <laughs> I swear. The princess. <laughs> She's literally like a kid. Look at her. Yeah, doesn't feel strong. They are people stronger than Leo, but uh, they are not that strong, right? We will all die here together. I mean, Crimson is obviously lying, but... Yep, she is very mad, huh? <laughs> the toilet bowl, really? I like how she's hiding Ragna. So she can't see him. You're not killing anything, brother. <laughs> we won't work with you. Oh, he's making drugs, huh? Okay. That is actually bad. Oh, in sunlight. And you can stop them with Silverine, okay. Oh, he knows. Himson knows a lot. <laughs> she can't tell. <laughs> That can't be true. Yeah. 10,000 dragons. A thousand medial dragons. Fifty macho dragons. The Riffing Shade. Oh boy. Nah. There is no way they, are, they were in the future because he doesn't know them, right? Right. There you go. The full extent of my powers. That's actually very accurate. Yep. <laughs> yep. Right. Exactly. That's the goal. Exterminate all the dragons. Use me. Nice. Is actually... <laughs> Okay, she's barely resisting screaming, yes. Okay. Ah. A pervert, really. <laughs> What is she doing? She's... Yeah, exactly. She's projecting for sure. A pathetic simp. <laughs> she's actually... Saying yes, and thank God she did. Strategic purposes and nothing more. Right. You told me to do it, right? But you are Crimson, so... Exactly. It's better to have help. Those guys are actually pretty strong, right? We fought against the winged monarch in the capital. 
Yeah, exactly. They are rushing off to the capital because of Reina. Wow. Oh yeah, she's in bed. Having a bad time. <laughs> hey, Camus is here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh! They are dead. The... Um, those guys. He's gonna give her a pep talk. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Nah, it's not them. I mean, them and someone else. Nice. It's good to know that he died like this, right? But still bad that he dies, I guess. He probably talked about Ragnar, for sure. She has PTSD. Camus, <laughs> uh, I swear. Yeah. Whoa! Magical power. The process. The confidence. Right. Yeah, you don't know, right? Exactly. Camus is the guy. I mean, he's playing a lot of good characters as well, right? The, the voice actor. Traumatia! <laughs> oh. I guess she needs to kill Ragna, but... Easier thing <laughs> said than done, right? For sure. Wow. So, I'm assuming we're gonna fight the two seats and Kamui as well. Yeah, she's... I mean, it's her failure, but... That's why he's here, though. Right? Yeah, she can see the big picture, I guess, right? Whoa! What I really want. Yeah. I can really hear Sukuna here. That's crazy. Sukuna and Grimjo are really here. You are just an unhinged woman. Yep. Exactly. Yes. This guy is strong. Doesn't care about those things, right? He likes her. They are trying to make me feel bad for them, but I don't know, bro. Those two feel like humans right now, I swear. I mean, wait. Right. I forgot that most super dragons were human before becoming dragons, right? So it would make sense that they have like personal feelings. And stuff like this. Of course it makes sense. Even Ultimatia, right? She used to be a woman. Maybe she used to be something. Or maybe she was created by God to be like this. But obviously she has personal feelings. And she can see the big pictures. Like the goal was to destroy the, the human capital. And kill all the humans in the capital. I mean, technically what they could do right now is just completely destroy the capital and kill every human in it, even though that's not what she wants to do. It will be the quickest way to go about it and then just go and destroy the, the core and then they will be done with it, right? When you think about it, we have to wait for two days for the teleportation re um, like spell to be over or to be completed, I guess. So we have to stay alive for two days against potentially... The second seat, the fifth, and the sixth seat. seat. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Maybe the core is gonna fight against the fifth and the sixth seat, and then we have, we're gonna have Ragna against uh, Kamui. Maybe that would be interesting, to be honest. Seeing uh, the Kamui guy fight could be interesting, but we'll see. Bring me their heads. There you go. Here it is. 
Ah, oh, she's crying. We have the sad music and all. Crazy. What? What is she saying? Like, we have to suffer. Yo, she's crazy, I swear. Yeah, she's back. <laughs> this off. Yep. Oh. It's because he's the, he's the one that can help her, right? Yep, there you go. Smart. Yeah, they are close together. Oh! The Reaper. There you go. It was about Ragnar for sure. The Reaper will hunt you. <laughs> right. Okay, so let's jump into the manga. As usual, we are going to read the, the panels that go with the episode. So you are feel free to go to the outro right now or, you know, we'll see each other next time. So we, are, we just have highlights on YouTube, of course, and we're going to read stuff that we didn't read in the or didn't see in the anime. So I'm going to skip over most of them. I read pretty fast, so... But if I miss something, you know, it can happen, I guess. But <laughs> I can actually hear Crimson said, Subarashi, Subarashi. <laughs> excellent, excellent. I swear. Crimson. I can't wait for those two guys to, like, you know, spare. Spare or spar? Spar, I think. Oh, the enemies we'll be facing are two high-class dragons. Before the transformation into dragons, they were war masters. Okay, we didn't see this in the anime. Interesting. So they were war masters. So they were already very strong before becoming dragons. That's what I'm getting from this. This is so unlike you, leader. Let's just settle, settle this like we always do. Do we kill them or not? <laughs> I mean, those guys can't kill Crimson, let's be honest. And they can't kill Ragnar either, so... It doesn't matter too much, right? <laughs> What's with this guy? I've never heard of such detailed intelligence on high-class dragons before. Yep. If and how you make use of it entirely depends on you. Yep. I mean, Crimson is giving up pretty interesting information here. He obviously knows about those guys. This is the weirdest panel. The pleasure he derives from doing so is just... Honestly, he's no different from poop. And then we have a... Poop with a heart next to it. That's actually crazy. <laughs> Look at the panel with the, the, the face she made. <laughs> That's crazy. She wanted to say yes. She barely managed to hold it in. I think this is the fifth or the sixth seat, right? I think this is the fifth one. Wow. Pretty scary in the manga, I'm not gonna lie. Way more than the anime, for sure. Uh, they beat the hell out of Sia. As they liked. Yep, for sure. They, there was no pity in this. <laughs> they completely destroyed, right? I like how they are doing it in the, in the in the manga. See? We have the... Like, she woke up. She tried to stop time. It doesn't work. And then she says why. And then we have Camus at the window over there. <laughs> this is so... Look at this. He's playing with his mouth. I had eight comrades, but they are all dead now. Don't play with the corpse. Right. For sure. Even though he might have been working with any with an outside party, this man fought that ring freak out of his own volition and he emerged victorious. I can't help but praise him for that. I mean, he's right. You lost your spirit, for sure, your confidence or whatever you want to call it. Right? You have mana, art, spells or formulas and belief. Those are the three things that you need. Alako is calling her Traumazia. I'm going to use Traumazia in the title as well. <laughs> Traumazia, Traumazia. Yeah, Traumazia is actually better. I mean, her name in the manga is Artemisia, and in the anime, it's Ultimatia, so Traumazia, Traumazia. You know, it's a play on word, I guess. I will never forgive the shitheads who tried to kill my girl while I was away, never in a million years. Who is your girl again? Look how mad she is, of course. You're always fooling around, making fun of me. If you didn't care about what I had to say anyway, then... You can go and go fight like you usually do. Look, she's, broke, she's breaking down. Heads, 
Ah, now I have said it. Everything is their fault. This is, I think, wait, I think it's this text, this text here. Uh, why must we face all the consequences while they are still alive? That's crazy to say. Yeah, we have the same one. What did you say? You will be hunted by the Reaper. That gives me chills, bro. And we have the, like this, those words. You are really setting my expectations off the roof. <laughs> nice. Well, okay, there you go. That's going to be it for the chapter 19, 20, and 21, I think, or 2021 of Ragnar and then episode 10, of course. Episode 10 was interesting. I like the, the discussion between, like we had Crimson against the princess and then we had Camry against Ultimatia. Very interesting, like the, the, the plan that we are discussing to actually fight against the Seeds and we have the reason as to why they didn't attack yet. It's because of what happened in the capital. So like leaving was actually the right choice because when you think about it, if Ragnar came back, he would have to fight against Kamui, the fifth and the sixth seat. Then we have Ultimatia nibbling with his new form. I mean, the, the fight would be completely insane and one-sided, I believe, right? And we have to fight them for, I guess, a, one complete day if I had to get an estimate. And I'm assuming Crimson is actually going to help with the teleportation magic too, because I guess he's pretty strong at it. Okay, well, the next episodes and the next chapters are going to be mostly about finding those uh, two seats, I'm assuming, and uh, we're going to learn more about them. So that's going to be it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. If you're here for the second time, please subscribe. If you like the video, like the video and leave a comment as well. Bye.